Do you guys know how to solve a Rubik's Cube? This is a great video for you to learn how to do it. So this time, white, if you find white, is opposite of yellow. No matter how I turn it, white is still opposite of yellow. And there are other ways, like blue is opposite of green, and red is opposite of orange, and this is how we solve the Rubik's Cube. Um, first, you got to make a white daisy around the yellow center. You can't start with the red side. You can only start with the white side. So, this time, we're going to make a white daisy around the yellow center and if one is like this and you gotta um, find him up to here you place it over here then here or also and then you can move this one on top and move this way you get that one out of the way so it's important we will need it next time so this one goes over here so then take this one away and we have a white daisy and then we gotta make the corners match this is red and blue doesn't match this is red and red it does match so when it doesn't match then we place it down. I didn't say it doesn't match. I said match. It kind of here is like that. But this one is also the same one. And the goal about solving a Rubik's Cube is, is not moving the middle. You can't move the middle at all. Like this. Oh, I forgot. This one doesn't move. This one can go there. And this one, you cannot twist it. It will break the cube. And you have to reassemble it. This time, when an uh, edge is over there, then you can put it down and raise it towards like this. And then you have it over here. If you want to place it over here, then flip it on the side. Do not rotate the cube like this. It has to be the side close to you. And this time, we do a lefty algorithm. I'll show you what that is. It's up and to the right and down to the left. And righty algorithm is the same, but just the other way. This time, um, if one is over here, and that hole is, is over there, then we look on the colors on the side, like red and blue. We gotta find the red and blue. This is orange and blue. Red, red and blue centerpieces. So now, we can do three righty algorithms. Don't rotate it like this so it's a spa. You do it like this and then do it again with another spa that's already filled. Well, that's one. And this one. Three. This one is a spa. So do three righty algorithms. It always has to be righty. This time we place this one down. And this one needs to be on the side and we insert it. Like you already know. So this one is orange and green. So you gotta find orange and green. That's why it's the bottom corner. Don't you see? A green one has to be over there. So it's over there, we gotta bring it over here. 
So that's why we need to look at the colors. Red and green. Because the green... Wait, red is two. Now, this one's only one. I thought it was three. Now we have it. Now we're going to rotate this side upside down. And look for corners that doesn't have yellow in them. This one has yellow. I mean the corners, I mean the mi middle ones. This one has yellow, this one has yellow, this one has yellow, but this one doesn't. So there's blue, and look at the blue side, so that means it goes here. If it was green, it needs to go here. And, and we insert that side. This one's great. It needs to go over here. It almost the full side. I always get that. We just have one more. We're gonna look for the last one. Yeah, this one's the last one. It needs to go green, so over here. And fix the side. So now we're gonna make a yellow cross over here. If if you have a hook, then rotate it like this and do two radialgoons like this. But mine is over here. If it's the wrong corner. It's supposed to be like this, but if it's like this, then you rotate it like this and do everything backwards. And fix the left side. Now you have it. Now, I mean, now you have a line. And if you have a line, then rotate it like this. So the line is horizontal. And... Then you turn it clockwise and write the algorithm and fix the side. Now we have a yellow cross. And now we're going to make each corner like this. If you already have it like this, you can skip the stuff. But if, you, if there's towards each other like this, then do a soon holding yellow on top. I'll show you what a soon is. It is up to the left, down to the left, up to the right, to the right, down. I just got a big, bigger one this time. And then fix it. But if they're next to each other, then you do is hold it on the back, right, and do a soon. And fix it. Now we have it. Now we gotta make everyone like how could I show it? Like this. The it's like the the I mean the yellow matches into yellow. And the green matches into green, and the red matches into yellow. If you only have one, then hold that one on the left and do a nick gloss. This is a nick gloss. It is up and put it in the back. Up with the other one and put it in the back. Down. Erase it and back down. This side is perfectly. And this side is almost. So now we got one, we got two, we got three, and we got four. Look, this was uh, what I was talking about. The red matches to the red. And the yellow matches to yellow. And green matches to green. We almost have it, guys. And if you have all of them, you don't need to count them if 
you'll have to see. We flip it upside down and then you give for um a wrong corner and you have to make like orange and orange and red and red like that. And then do radiograms until this off. Nope. 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 Yep. Like this. Now pick a different wrong corner. This one's right. Oh, this one's the only one left. Okay. Writing algorithms into a sauce. We fixed our cube. Let's go. Thank you. Come back to my YouTube channel if you want to see more Ruby's Cube videos.